A very warm welcome to all of you. This session is meant for all the business analytics and data mining aspirants who are keen to make a start in this domain. Today, we will familiarize you with the first step, that is the SAS Certified Base Programmer course for SAS version 9. This is a standardized program well documented by the SAS Institute. Let me first take you through the agenda. We will start with introduction to SAS, where we will explore what is SAS or the power to know. Then I will discuss about SAS Certified Base Programmer for SAS 9, the importance of being a certified SAS programmer and its demand in the market. I will also share the exam details, the pattern and other related information. Next, I will share the Multisoft SAS course outline that will provide you an idea about what all will be covered in the course. After this, we will move to the sneak preview. Here we will take you through a short session on one of the important course topics to give you a fair understanding about how training will happen at Multisoft. We will then provide insight to the Multisoft based SAS online training program which will guide you about the enrollment process and benefits associated with it. At the end, I will summarize the session for you. Let's begin with introduction to SAS. SAS is a software suit that can mine, alter, manage and retrieve data from a variety of sources and perform statistical analysis on it. It provides a graphical point and click user interface for non-technical users and more advanced options through the SAS programming language. The early development phase of SAS began in 1966 in North Carolina State University by Anthony Barr. Barr programmed his analysis of variance and regression software so that it would run on IBM 360 computers. This project was funded by the NIH and was originally intended to analyze agricultural data to improve the crop yields. Barr was later joined by student James Goodnight, who developed the software's statistical routines and these two became the project leaders. The first versions of SAS were named in the year 1971 in which they were released. It was used only on IBM mainframes and had the main elements of SAS programming such as the SAS data step and the most common procedures in the PROC step. In 1976, Barr, Goodnight, Saul and Helwig took the project out of North Carolina and incorporated SAS Institute Inc. Today, SAS with the tagline Power to Know gives fact-based decisions for undeniable bottom line impact. And this is how SAS transforms the way different clients do their business. SAS provides a combined strength of SAS solutions and technologies. SAS helps to solve real-world problems. Some of these include combating fraud in financial services, expediting drugs to market in life sciences, and identifying cross-seller opportunities in retail. SAS also solves the challenges that are faced by every industry, such as the increasing value of customer relationships, managing risk, and optimizing IT networks. SAS addresses these complex business issues using a foundation based on three key capabilities. These include information management, analytics, and business intelligence. In fact, SAS is the future of analytics. Let's move on to the importance of SAS. People who want a career in SAS often ask this question, how much money do SAS specialists make? Well, that's a reasonable question because a lucrative career with multi-dimensional opportunities is a dream of every ambitious individual and SAS provides the same. The pay rates depend upon location, employer, position, experience and other factors but are generally in line with the pay of other computer specialists and data analyst specialists. You can compare your salary by visiting www.payscale.com. Let's now understand what all job roles SAS offers. SAS jobs are of two types, contractual and permanent. For SAS programmers, Designations differ from organization to organization. Some of the roles include 
SaaS programmer, SaaS developer, business analyst, data analyst, ETL developer, financial analyst, and likewise. Let's now get on to the details of SaaS certified base programmer course for SaaS version 9. Talking about who all can appear for the base SaaS certification, you may be working as programmers, analysts, data managers, or anyone who writes SaaS programs is the perfect audience for this course. The skill set required to attempt for SaaS certification includes importing and exporting raw data files, manipulating and transforming data, combining SaaS data sets, creating basic detail and summary reports using SaaS procedures, and identifying and correcting data, syntax, and programming logic errors. In order to prepare for this certification, you need to study two books. These are SAS Programming 1 Essentials and the other one is SAS Programming 2 Data Manipulation Techniques. Let's talk about the first book. The SAS Programming 1 Essentials course is for users who want to learn how to write SAS programs. It is the entry point to learning SAS programming and is a prerequisite to many other SAS courses. In terms of skills, you learn how to navigate the SAS windowing environment, read various types of data into SAS datasets, create SAS variables and subset data, combine SAS datasets, create and enhance listing and summary reports, and validate SAS datasets. The second course book that is the SAS Programming 2 Data Manipulation Techniques is for those who need to learn data manipulation techniques using SAS data and PROC steps to access, transform and summarize SAS data sets. Here you will learn how to control SAS data set input and output, combine SAS data sets, summarize, read and write different types of data, perform do loop and SAS array processing and transform character, numeric and date variables. Now that you understand what all is covered in the books, I will cover the exam details for SAS Certified Base Programmer for SAS 9. You need to attempt 70 multiple choice questions in the stipulated time of 2 hours. In order to pass the exam, you need to answer at least 46 questions correctly and the average time available to solve each question is 1.71 minutes. The exam is conducted worldwide in Pearson View Centers with an exam code A00211. The fee to take the exam is $180 and rest of the information can be collected through the SAS website. In order to appear for the base SAS certification, you need to go through SAS Programming 1 Essentials, SAS Programming 2 Data Manipulation Techniques and the base SAS Preparation Guide. Now let's take a look at the training course contents of Multisoft Base SAS course. You will be learning about all the required course material to crack the Base SAS certification. Not just that, we will also guide you on how to face the interviews related to SAS programmer. This slide shows you the complete course outline for SAS Programming 1 Essentials. And here is a point-by-point -point course outline for SAS Programming 2 Data Manipulation Techniques. You will understand all of it in detail when you enroll for the actual course. In addition, at the end of the course, you will be provided tips to prepare for the certification exam and other related essentials. Now it's time for the sneak preview. Here we will cover the main architecture of SAS environment. SAS is a related software run through Foundation SAS which is a basic component to compile and run the SAS code. Foundation SAS is a highly flexible and integrated software environment that can be used in virtually any setting to access, manipulate, manage, store, analyze and report on data. Foundation SAS is a graphical user interface used for administrating SAS tasks. It's highly flexible and an extensible programming language. Foundation SAS has a rich library of pre-written ready-to-use SAS procedures. It also has the flexibility to run on all major operating environments such as Windows, Unix and ZOS. 
you get access to virtually any data source such as DB2, Oracle, Sybase, Teradata, SAP and Microsoft Excel. And there's support for most widely used character encodings for globalization. At the core of Foundation SAS is the base SAS software. The components of SAS system include SAS Base, SAS Graphs, SAS ODS, SAS Access, SAS Stat, and SAS ETS. A lot more packages are also available in SAS. The functionality of SAS is built around the four data-driven tasks common to virtually any application. These include data access, data management, data analysis, and data presentation. Now let's understand how is data converted to information. The maximum time that we invest in our work profile during the process of delivering meaningful information is typically distributed as follows. 80% of it is data related. This includes access, scrub, transform, manage and store and retrieve. 20% of the remaining time is spent in analysis. SAS software is based on the SAS language. The data step creates the data from raw data file to SAS data set which has an extension of .sas7bdat. The PROC step converts the SAS data set into valuable information that is the report. Now the following slide explains the design of SAS system. SAS has a multi-vendor architecture. It can be installed in any of the operating systems which could be a PC, workstation, server, mainframe or supercomputer. SAS is designed in such a way under the SAS Alliance Agreement that any database can connect and extract the data source. It can be Netezza, DB2, Oracle, SAP or Microsoft Excel. Now that we've finished up with the sneak preview section, it's time to discuss Multisoft Base SAS online training. I will share the complete details about this program. The training is conducted by a SAS certified trainer. When you register with us for the SAS Base training, we will connect with you as per the pre-decided time and impart training for 24 hours in all. For the exact schedule and each session's duration, you can refer to the training calendar on the Base SAS Exam Preparation Workshop page. The training happens over Cisco WebEx. This is a secure web conferencing tool from Cisco that allows a real-time learning experience. When you register with us, we send out event links to you wherein you log into a Multisoft WebEx which allows two-way interaction between the student and the trainer through webcam and voice chat. It is as good as a classroom since the whiteboard allows the trainer to transfer knowledge as done in a classroom. The share option lets the experts share files, videos, applications and even desktops. Once you register with us, we provide you 24 by 7 access to an online resource center wherein apart from accessing other training material, you can also attempt 18 chapter-wise assessments and 3 certification-based mock tests. Apart from these two valuable exam-oriented resources, you also get access to all related presentations, projects and training videos. Now this is a sample of the online assessment which will test your knowledge on the various base SAS course concepts. All the questions will have four options out of which you need to select the correct one. At the end of the assessment you will get the information about the correct answers and reasoning behind the same. Let's summarize today's session now. This will be a 24 hours instructor led online training that will be conducted by a SAS certified trainer. During the training, you will receive certified SAS course notes and access to 18 online assessments and 3 mock tests. In addition, you will also get 24 by 7 access to an online resource center. This session was an attempt to give you in-depth detail about base SAS training and certification. To enroll with us for the training or to post a query, please write to us at info at